I actually had the direct pleasure of meeting all the family members with Jack in the last summer of his life. I'm nobody. I'm somebody who read a book. At the end of the book, it said, how angry are you that the U.S. government is lying to you and are you willing to take a stand right now? I was honored to be the friend of Jack Herrer. I think those hours I devoted in his presence, oftentimes not even saying anything, looking through a book while he thought about something or did something, or listening to an argument he was having with somebody, I watched the endless, I watched the endless times as though speaking to a child, he would go through a catechism of the virtues of the implant. He would speak to strangers in intimate detail about the fact that we never need to cut down another tree for all of our houses and all of our paper, all those needs that we used to use trees for, because wood is too beautiful to put inside of a wall. So, here is a man who comes along and says, you got food, you got fiber, you got fuel, you got clothing, raiment, edibles, support, uh, reinforcement, protection, almost everything that human beings need is contained in this one plant. And I remember Jack and, uh, and uh, Ed telling me about their conversion, which came, which came, I'll be through just one moment. Uh, which, which came in the back of the head shop at Heads and Highs, and they were cutting up a kilo of marijuana and talking about the virtues of marijuana, and they just went through that little list I just went through, and then suddenly they looked at each other in stunned surprise, and they said, boy, hemp is everything. Hemp could save the world. And they looked at each other, and they really comprehended what they were saying. They realized it. It became real for them. And that's when they swore that they would work every day of their lives to free the plants <coughs> until they were 84, and then they could have a break. <laughs> and it's gonna take a long time to stop crying And it's a long time For the call It's gonna take a long time For me to stop crying And for all times He'll be in my song be a long time after all it seems like such a short time and then the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. My rod and my staff may comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. <laughs> you, never, you guys never seen anything like this, right? <laughs> you I'm 
sure the sky is blue And all the clouds are gone From our view Don't you remember too And I recall your eyes How they sparkled in the light Or could it be that I Stunned because they are so bright. Oh, could it be this room? The perfume that you wear, today his friends and family really showed us that nothing's going to change just because he's not here physically. His message lives on. In Mission Hills, I'm Bonnie King, reporting for SalemNews.com. This song, uh, this song's for Jack. You know, good buddy. And uh, we love him dearly. And uh, this song's for you, Jack. I remember the time You laid it on the line It was such a fine time Years. Yeah. And now I'm getting my voice back, but I always had my attitude back. Right, right. <laughs> you, were, you were there, you just couldn't say it that way. Well, you never, you never lost it, the attitude. Sure. I remember the day, the other day. Day you went away Wasn't nothing we could pray It just had to be that way So go on, Jack Miss you Lord knows I miss you Oh, now I miss you. I saw everybody is wrong about this because I know it. 37 years ago, I wrote the fucking book on it. Did, did you? you? I was sir. there, I remember. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. God bless Jack Hare.